looks like some canvas backs. A lot of lesser scop. We've seen some wood ducks and blue winged teal. We've got pretty incredible diversity right now and really high abundance. As a duck guy, as a migration nerd, just seeing all of these birds in this one place really makes me want to do the right thing to make sure that these birds can continue coming here. And it's not just waterfowl that depend on this portion of the river. This is a critical link in the chain for a variety of fish species and people as well. Most people probably don't think of birds when they think of rivers, but the Mississippi Flyway has a tremendous number of bird species to move through it. 325 species use that flyway. Up to 50% of the waterfowl in North America use that flyway. One of the species that is highly abundant here is lesser scop. There are enough scop here at times that this is a continentally critical location for this species. The Pool 19 Lesser Scop Banding Project has been going on for decades and it has proved itself to be a critically important tool in understanding Lesser Scop population dynamics at a continental scale. Lesser Scop have experienced pretty dramatic declines in their populations. Habitat degradation can certainly be one of the causes for this decline. We can sometimes not notice things unless we have some long-term rigorous research such as what's conducted here at this Pool 19 banding station. Scop might serve as a little bit of a surrogate for what's going on in this river system as a whole and Pool 19 in particular. Pool 19 is the section of river from Keokuk, Iowa up to Burlington. Over 40 miles of river. In the upper section, you have island complexes, you have depth diversity and flow diversity. As you move down towards Keokuk, you end up in more lake-like conditions that have been driven by the installation of the lock and dam. And there's been a loss of ecological values and a loss of recreational values that have been associated with that change in the river's function. In terms of conservation, if you look at where all the projects are on the Mississippi River, you will see a gap in the system. And that gap is Pool 19. The Nature Conservancy, along with its partners, have been really interested in seeing that this section of the river catches up to the restoration potential across the entire system. The good news is that we have 40 years of experience on the Upper Mississippi Restoration Program. We know what these large river systems need, and the actual mechanics of returning back the functions to this are simply follow the roadmap that has been so effective to bring back the kind of recreation and conservation values that so many people expect from this river system. I spend almost all my free time on these large river systems. They function as a church for me. I would encourage folks to really look again at the Mississippi River because these large river systems are phenomenal just in terms of their value to the nation. Despite all of these changes, these systems still are holding on and are providing a lot of resources for a lot of different species. There are these patches that are still in great shape. We can replicate those and we can take the patches that are degraded or are in poor shape and get them back into good shape to better help wildlife, birds, mammals, and the people that depend on these places.